Well, I figured out how to uh, do the armature of the female that's going to be on this piece. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have uh, her mounted on a piece of wood. Time to play with some clay. All right, change of focus today. Um, I'm gonna to take him off here. I've made the armature of the woman who's gonna be standing here next to him. And uh, I'll come back when I get that all blocked in with clay and uh, show you what I'm doing. So as I work on the uh, figure, which is starting to look feminine, I wanna remind you, I've got a instructional video on how to make armatures and uh, you can get to a video review of that of what I have all nine of my videos down in the video description there's a link that takes you to a place where you can see a kind of like a digest or a short review of what's on the videos and uh it could be helpful to you if you're trying to learn how to sculpt to know how to make an armature you can buy armatures but uh they're not cheap they're helpful though but it's also very useful to know how to make your own armature I had to teach myself back in the 60s how to make a armature and it was not easy. <laughs> of course, I had an uncle who was a major sculptor in the country and uh, he only lived a few minutes from my house uh, in Sandy, Utah, where I lived. And so I could take my clay over there and get him to look at it and uh, tell me what I was doing wrong and he did that more often than telling me I was doing things right <laughs> but that's how you learn and it was nice to have my uncle you have the web today I didn't have that in fact I didn't even have a computer until 1990 And then I didn't even know how to use it. Actually, I had one in the 80s. I think it was an Atari. And it had 64K memory. <laughs> God. I got a photograph. I can take a photograph of my iPhone and I, I can't even get a picture that small unless I edit it down to that small. But, uh, 64k and I thought that was more memory than I'd ever need I don't know what I'm going to have her arms doing I think I got an idea but uh, hmm yeah just thought of a way something I could do
I'm thinking of having her with a uh, shawl or a blanket. And she's pulling the blanket tight around her face with this hand. All right, as you can see, and I put the figure on just to see how she looks with him, and she's way too small. So I'm going to increase her head about a half, about a half an inch, and that should just about uh, bring it in proportion to him, which means it'll increase the width of her shoulders, so I'll have to redo those armatures for the shoulders and stuff. But uh, I'll do that, uh, and we'll see how it turns out. This is why I put the thing back on the figure, because you don't really know what it's going to look like until it's with the figure you're going to have it with. Please give me a like and a subscribe, and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.